want to pin you down a bit on what your policy is on Brexit, because you've said that you want to try and remain in the single market. You've also previously said about free movement of people having to be changed or coming to an end. I mean, that sounds a little bit like Boris Johnson might say, have cake, eat cake policy over the EU, doesn't it? Well, I, I do believe in the principle of the free movement of labour and indeed the, the four principles of the single market. But actually, if you look at the way the European Union works, other member countries have some degree of restraint on movement. I mean, Very the small let me just give, you, let's just give an example, which I dealt with when I was in government. The Germans say you cannot just freely go into Germany unless you have a German professional qualification, which is why we don't have free trade in services. And it's that kind of practical, pragmatic step, working within the European Union, working within the single market, respecting the principles, that's the kind of outcome we should be looking at. And instead of this sort of grandstanding that the British government has adopted, that you're either completely 100% in or you have to leave the whole thing. And that's what's causing this enormous, disastrous... Uh, move into this hard Brexit that's doing so much damage. You see, I'm still a little bit confused by this. Let's have a little look now at something that you said uh, a week after the referendum, which is there should be some control over migration from the EU. This will, however, make it difficult to retain single market status. So if you accepted that then, mm. what's changed? I don't understand. Um, it, it, it is difficult, but they can be reconciled. And I've just you've just you, said it will be indeed. difficult to retain single market status. Well, I think actually, when you, when you reflect on it, and I've reflected on it, it is perfectly possible to reconcile these things because other member states do that. So you've changed your mind since then. Well, th that was put in a rather s stark terms. I think it is absolutely possible to remain within the single market, to respect the principle of freedom of movement, but to have some degree of management of migration. Other countries do it, we should do it. And You're not just playing to your Lib Dem audience here. No, I, I, I'm, I'm not. I, 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 I believe in this stuff. And I, I'm a, I'm, I've been you know, fighting for the European Union and British membership for half a century. I mean, I'm very committed to the project. And I think my party is in exactly exactly the right position, representing a very, very large swathe of public opinion that is becoming very alarmed at the way in which this hard Brexit option is being pursued, not just by the Conservatives, but by Jeremy Corbyn's Labour Party. And they do want an alternative. And when we see the economic pain kicking in, more and more people are going to want an alternative, and we're the only party operating. Just to give you a trivial example. This week's Wimbledon is, is being launched, and the people who normally produce the strawberries can't produce them because the labour force has disappeared because of anxiety about their future status in Britain. And that's one of hundreds and hundreds of practical examples of the way in which this extreme form of Brexit is going to harm Britain, and we've got to stop it.